we're in a position now where we're able to attract a new sponsor to the team. Head on over to the corporate tab and select the sponsor screen to choose who we should approach. Just, just bear me a second, got to deal with this marketing department. Who's our uh, rival? Uh, we're going to select a new rival. Oh, we're choosing Ocon. We're choosing Ocon because Ocon's rubbish. We'll get back to uh, sorting the other stuff out uh, momentarily for you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back uh, in just uh, a quick second. All righty then, there we go. So welcome along, everyone. It is Tuesday. You know what that means. Welcome along to episode number 11 of our F1 23. No one talks about F1 22. That game was terrible. <laughs> it's the Austrian Grand Prix. Sprint race and feature race. And if uh, everyone remembered uh, Austria last year in this game, replays crash galore. Canada enters the conversation. You'll see why uh, in a second. Right, let's go have a look for some. We got a big upgrade package coming. So can we get? Oh, halo, halo. We have a halo. Right, there's some good cheap upgrades here. Engine cover distribution. That's nice. Cockpit weight reduction. Oh, there's some good big upgrades here. Get that on time for Hungary. You know we want it. Uh. See, do we take the engine or do we take the weight? I think we gotta take the weight, um, the cockpit weight reduction. No, well, you know what? Oh, I was gonna go for a big one there. No, let's go for um, cockpit weight reduction. So we're bringing another big upgrade for Hungary. Oh, I see a cheap intercooler. I see a cheap intercooler. We got the best engine! Nice! <laughs> nice! That's gonna help us out for Belgium. And can we get to... Oh, I see a nice cheap... Uh, yep, we'll get that on the car as well. So we're going to bring another massive upgrade package to Hungary. That's what uh, that's what we're talking about. I think after Hungary, we might leave it then. Because uh, I'm fearful of an R&D reset. We need a new ICE. Thank you very much. Because, you know, you don't want to risk an engine failure in Austria. We have Achieve on the car. Welcome Achieve, everybody. That's not going to be the uh, Drivers' Championship with Max Verstappen leads the way, followed by Charles Leclerc, Sergio Perez, George Russell, Carlos Sainz, Lewis Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, Jackie in P8, Lando Norris, and Esteban Ocon, your top ten. Let's go check out the rest of them. I believe for, uh, four drivers have still yet to score. And that's Yuki Sonoda, Logan Sargent, Nick DeVries, and Tatiana Calder on TJ Sorry, the Constructors. P7, we need to finish P8 by the end of the year. So we'll go do one of these Pirelli hot laps, get practiced, get qualified. Well, no. Yeah, we do get qualified because we qualify for the sprint race, which is up next. So it's all about speed in today's sprint. Not very many laps and no chance to get ahead on strategy. Who here today has the raw skill to take them to the top? Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole. And the smooth operator, Carlos Sainz, completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Russell, Verstappen, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Ocon, Norris, Bottas, Governess, Albon, Oscar Piastri, Hulkenberg, Joe, Stroll, Sonoda, Magnussen, De Vries, Sargent, De Vries. Which of these drivers will get pole position today? We'll soon find out. OK, we've got that relief of having points on the board finally, so let's keep that form up and get another top 10 finish today, please.
Okie dokie then, good starting position for the sprint, P12. I would uh, gladly take uh, that considering practice we were absolutely nowhere. But uh, literally she just pulled a lap from somewhere and here she comes. She's, she's, I can't remember who that driver was. I think it was... Um, Oh, I can't remember who it was, but they just pulled a lap out. They'd be nowhere in practice, and then here comes the lap. Anyway, let's go get the sprint race done. Ah, right, Austria. Let's get this going. I've got my Discord going uh, on in the background right, because... Uh, so oh, I see people show me Veyrons. I see Veyrons. I see Veyrons. Yeah, people in uh, one of the Discord servers uh, are showing me Bugatti Veyrons. Please don't show me Bugatti Veyrons. That's like um, the ultimate uh, in uh, filth for me right there. Although, to be fair, I do um, I do have a Veyron myself. It's only one of those little um, one in... What size is it? Let me have a look here. I'm going to reach over and uh, grab it here. Uh, Bugatti Veyron. One in uh, one in full 143. It's only one of those little one in 143 ones, but uh, it does uh, it does the job good, as uh, they say. I bought it for six quid in Blackpool. I remember walking into a a shop, uh, one of the back street a toy shop, uh, one of the back streets of Blackpool when I was younger, and there it was sitting there. I thought, you know what, I'm going to have one. I I, I have actually seen a, a Bugatti Veyron in person. I have. Okay, granted it was behind a uh, dealership window, and I was the other side of it. I, I could have looked at it uh, for days, and uh, but alas, uh, I couldn't, unfortunately. That's something I could do in London. I could go, uh, I know where to go for all the uh, really fast supercars, but uh, it's a case of uh, finding it now. Sprint race! And if we know Austria, Austria is going to be an absolute show because uh, traditionally Austria is. That's an absolute okay, cracker of a parking spot. There, nice P12 is uh, nothing to be sniffed at. Considering this, uh, the engine in this thing is uh, absolute dog you know what. And uh, I mean that in the nicest possible way, that it is dog you know what as we go to the five red lights here for the sprint race of the Austrian Grand Prix. The lights are being held, but they are out and away we go with uh, the two Ferraris getting off very nicely. The Aston Martin's got off the line uh, very nicely and very handily as well as, uh, oh, that's a little, i tell you what, that's a little bit uh, clumsy into the first corner. Everyone uh, gets through no problem though. As the sprint starts up to turn three, we have to call it turn three because you've just seen the uh, track modifications that they've done here for the Austrian Grand Prix. She's now diving up the inside of turn three. The Remus corner, she's gone from 12 to five in the matter of two corners. Girls are an absolute menace on the track, but we love her for that, don't we? Everyone's on their feet. They're cheering. It's like, Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. She's going to win a race soon. She's going to win a race. Um, you can see it happening. And we're on 100 difficulty. She's on a... I've been assured we're on 100 difficulty still. And uh, I do check the game between sessions. And it does say 100 difficulty. So maybe... Maybe 100's too easy this year. Did anyone feel that? Because I've, I've been watching uh, Tiamat Marduk on uh, 110 and uh, he sees me getting uh, podiums and wins with his My Team car. I don't know if uh, that's a, a feeling that everyone else has been uh, getting as well. As uh, we look at Yuki Sonoda here with Hollywood Land Stroll uh, fighting over P16 in the sprint race. This fight will continue on up to turn three as Nick DeVries gets past Guan Yu Zhou. I think Kevin Magnussen's uh, getting past uh, Logan Sargent. They've dropped Tatiana in the uh, mud as we look at three wide into turn three between. Who we got there? We got, uh, I think that's show. Yeah, that's, uh, no, is that Bottas? I don't know. No, that's show. That's show uh, Sonoda and Stroll. Stroll's uh, lost a position. And uh, Sonoda is about to lose position, I think, as well, to Guan Yu Zhou. Yes, he is, around the outside of Turn 4. Great uh, move there as we go. Look at this. That's Jackie being followed by Fernando Alonso, George Russell, and uh, Sergio Perez. Well, sorry, let's uh, alter that. It's George Russell, Fernando Alonso, Sergio Perez, as George moves up to P6. But uh, on lap number three, Sonoda, very susceptible to Kevin Magnussen. Hollywood Land Stroll, three wide into Turn 3. 
we have to, like I said, we have to call it because you saw the track modification. The bikes use uh, this circuit as well, and they acknowledge that chicane as turn two. So we have to acknowledge the kink before that as turn two, which is, uh, yeah. Uh, you know my thoughts on that as uh, the two Ferraris are fighting each other. Oh, lock up from uh, Leclerc and Sainz. He's going to go through, take the race lead. Carlos Sainz has just uh, put his teammate under pressure on lap number four, and it may get worse for Leclerc as here comes Verstappen in uh, Red Bull's home race, and he's going to power past and take uh, that position as well. So Charles Leclerc in the space of two corners, down from P1 to P3, as uh, Tatiana has now found herself up to the back of uh, Nick De Vries and Logan Sargent. She may end up being free wide with them. And she's like, oh, I tell you what, that 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 right there is the first time I've ever seen up the inside of Turn One work. And who did it? Tatiana Calderon. Chase slider doing a chase slider. That's what uh, we talk about right there. As uh, George Russell's looking to get through on Jackie for P5. And he does that. He does that with a great season. But Jackie trying to go around the outside. Almost off the track there. She uh, slips back in. Ow! I've just had an electric shock there in my finger. And I don't know what uh, gave me that electric shock. But uh, I know what's uh, giving the shock now is Jackie breezes around the outside of turn. Um, oh, that was a bit of a screen freeze. Got to have a word with my editor about some of these screen freezes because they're uh, they're not good. I also have a uh, something going on in my eye because, uh, like I said, it's very hot. Still, it's also uh, Esteban Ocon getting around the outside of Lando Norris. What a fight between the Alpine and the McLaren here at. Uh, the Red Bull ring streaming down to turn four. Ocon using the DRS to get past the McLaren finally. And that is the final point in the sprint race uh, for her. For him, I should uh, say. Speaking of her, Tatiana Calderon now might be looking at P uh, P20 from Logan Sargent. And uh, yet yeah, around the outside of turn three always works. Always works. She made the inside of turn one work. Well, I'd say around the outside of turn three works. But uh, Sargent keeping up the fight and uh, thank you very much says uh, that girl but uh, here comes Logan Sargent back around the outside of turn four but uh, Tatiana yeah oh she may even give him a boop on the uh, rear wing or front wing I should say to uh, remind him of uh, his place as uh, George Russell powers past Jackie into the first corner that's P5 for the Englishman but uh, if I know this girl she's as resilient as anything and she wants uh, that position back as uh, she's now going to go outside of turn three this is great racecraft that we're seeing from uh, the three of these here still side by side um, in fact Fernando Alonso may uh, be coming to join the party she didn't get him in uh, turn three she might get him in turn four where's George Russell look he's looking to the outside we can't see anything through the halo but uh, I bet we're going to see a pink car pop up uh, any moment now there she is and uh, takes P5 back. That's another screen freeze right there. Need to see uh, what's going on. Is that uh, a replay thing or is that uh, an Urs thing? It's uh, one of the two. Let's go uh, with that, uh, shall we? As uh, up the inside of Turn 3 will go Lando Norris on the uh, Esteban Ocon. This is a great fight just for the final point in the sprint race. Just for the final sprint race point. That's what uh, we're talking about here. This is great racing. <clears throat> and it's only the sprint. What's the feature going to uh, give us as we uh, see George Russell again taking Jackie? Into, is there, there was a green flag there. I'm pretty sure I saw a green flag there. Did someone uh, decide they want to uh, go home early? I don't know if uh, they are or not, but uh, Jackie's going home. She's going home with P5 and uh, past George Russell. She up. George comes back, though. George comes back at her, but uh, the traction around the outside of turn three absolutely immense now what uh, what we're looking at we're looking at Pierre Gasly here Perez and Ocon are having a, a great fight uh, up here now it looks like Ocon's uh, slipping backwards and backwards uh, very quickly as uh, Gasly and Perez have got past Ocon so Ocon down to P11 Gasly and Perez up to P9 and P10 respectively we still got um, Jackie and George fighting each other for P5 as uh, Perez defends the outside of Turn three from uh, Pierre Gasly, and I think did, did Nico, yeah Nico Hulkenberg's getting past uh, Esteban Ocon. I wonder if Ocon's got a problem because uh, Ocon seems to be going backwards and uh, backwards very very quickly as uh, Hulkenberg gets past uh, that man. Meanwhile, we'll have a look at uh, we got Sergeant and De Vries uh, swapping 
last place, no one cares. Uh, as Hollywood Land Stroll passes uh, Yuki Tsunoda and he's up to P18. Stroll doesn't seem to be uh, as confident with that Aston Martin as Alonso is. Anyone noticing that? It seems like uh, this is uh, following the trait of the season. Where Alonso is putting uh, Stroll in the mud. As uh, Speaking of uh, being put in the mud, everyone is kicking off on Discord about the Bugatti Veyron. What is, uh, what is this? What is going on? Right, I'm going to turn Discord off now. There, you're silent now. You're silent. You can uh, come back uh, in a few minutes when we uh, finish the race, but uh, Jackie... No, oh, Alonso out of nowhere. Hello. Fernando Alonso's uh, picking pockets uh, out there. Picking pockets with Fernando Alonso. You love to see it. Speaking of uh, pockets being picked, free wide into the first corner. Oscar Piastri, Nico Hulkenberg and Alex Albon. Not going to work, gentlemen. And Alex Albon round the outside is uh, going to try and make it work. Somehow he made it work. I don't know. Oh, Piastri is now under attack from uh, Vantale Bottas. And uh, where well, we going to see Albon go? Randy has a turn three. Always works. Better traction. Better line. Thank you very much. Move Albon to P12. Hulkenberg to P13. Uh, Bottas has got past Piastri as well, which is uh, all fair, all good. Meanwhile, this happened uh, up at the front while uh, we were looking. And Verstappen is about to break hearts in Marinello and take the lead of the sprint race on the last lap. You boring boring little man as uh, my brother would say and I'm pretty sure he wouldn't uh, thank me for uh, saying that would he but uh, he will thank uh, me for saying this because uh, it's going to be the end of the sprint race Verstappen got out in front disappeared away from the Ferraris and for Max Verstappen will win the sprint in Austria followed by the two Ferraris of Leclerc and Sainz with well sorry Sainz and Leclerc with Hamilton in uh, P4 but here comes the star of uh, the sprint, P5. That is four points in the bag. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. And an absolutely banging starting place for tomorrow's feature race as well. Well, the feature race in a few uh, a few minutes' time, I should say. Get it, girl. review the driver's standings. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. The grid is set then, so that just leaves the race itself. Join us tomorrow where we'll be live with all the action. And until then, goodbye. Yeah, goodbye uh, there, Crofty. Goodbye there, son. Did, he choose, did uh, Davidson choose Max Verstappen as uh, driver of the day? Wouldn't surprise me if he did. Uh, P5 is four points in the sprint. They are four very, very valuable points as well. Uh, and it affords her P5 on the grid as well. Where did Tatiana finish? P20. That's not bad. That's up from uh, where she started. It's a good building block for uh, for the main race. But we got some to, to do beforehand. So uh, let's go semi-wrap up. All right. We take that as a starting position for the race. We take that. Now, with 2,000 resource points available can we get anything i'd love to get uh, i'd love to get an aero upgrade on this car because that's the one thing even though this car is absolutely mega in a straight line in the corners it is woeful she was saying how woeful it is so do we go for a rear downforce? Oh, that doesn't do much. It's got to be the front wing flaps then for drag reduction. Let's do it. Let's get it on the car for Holland. What's the what's the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen is it fails. We we might still get it in for, for Holland. We might. Uh, we've got already got two going there. Yeah, I think we've already got two, yeah we've already got two going there. Uh, we've already got two over here. Oh no, we got. Yeah, we've got two going there. We've got two going here as well. Yep, yeah, but we can't uh, purchase everything. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah. I think then, with that upgrade package on the way, 
It's time to go get 25 laps of hell off and underway. This is it then, race day in Spielberg for this year's Austrian Grand Prix. Not long to go before our drivers hurtle off the line and into the first turn, the Nicky Lauda curve. It was renamed in 2019 in memory of one of Formula One's most beloved figures. to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position and a very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Hamilton, the governess, Russell, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Perez, Gasly, Ocon, Albon, Hulkenberg, Bottas, Oscar Piastri, Stroll, Sonoda, Magnussen, Calderon, Sargent, De Vries, Sargent. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? All right, nothing for Mark again. Standard. Uh, P5, we start for the uh, feature race. 25 laps of hell, as I call it. Now, I do think these soft tyres will last. But I am tempted to go alternate and go hards. It's only two seconds slower, but if anyone can make it up, I know a girl that could. Let's have a look. Uh, race director. So, yeah, we get a mix of strategies. We've got Sainz and Hamilton starting on the hards. Norris on the hards. Everyone's starting on the hards. Yeah, Tatiana's on the hards as well. So that that uh, she's going long. So I think we'll do the same. We'll start on the uh, no. Let's start on the softs. Let's get um, let's get uh, these hard runners going into that first corner. Try and use the grip uh, off the line. What a strategy play that is. Uh, so here we are then, feature race time. Do not be surprised, I'm going to say this to you all right now, do not be surprised if come the first corner, she's in the lead. Because you have seen her get some lightning starts. Well, we're pitting on, what was that? We're pitting on lap 11. Yeah, we, we had to go with uh, the soft tyre here. We, To be fair to the soft tyre, it actually held on very, very well. Uh, around uh, here Blech. excuse me held on very very nicely I can't say can't say enough about it but it does seem that no maybe oh, oh well that's gonna be back at the line uh, it's gonna be back at the line sorry Lewis uh, it, it, it's all Hamilton's fault. Let's just let's just go with that. At least it's a short lap here, so uh, we don't have to wait long for him to come back. Although well, knowing uh, this lot, uh, they're going to be taking uh, forever, forever and a day to uh, come back. I wonder if that's going to harm her now going into uh, turn one. I hope not. There. Get that uh, sod. What can I do after I've saved? Because uh, I'm saving some videos uh, as we speak. As we speak. I'm thinking... Yeah, if I get to the next two Star Wars done... I, I am in the editing mood right now. I am editing videos. I am... Doing narration on these videos at the same time. It's multitasking at its best. And hopefully that multitasking is uh, going to go uh, down very nicely. Hopefully, uh, if you haven't already done so, you've uh, you've hit your subscribe button, you've hit your uh, like button, and if uh, there's something you want to see me improve, let me uh, let me know then, folks. As we go to the five red lights here at the Austrian Grand Prix, lights are out and away we go. Let's see if she does get to the lead in the first corner. I don't think she will. She got an absolute mediocre start, uh, to be fair. 
Everyone else uh, blistered off uh, the line as she dies down the inside of turn one. That's past Lewis Hamilton already for uh, P4. So already made up one position, but here comes George Russell uh, following her through. Lewis Hamilton's going backwards very quickly. Will she attempt to dive into turn three? No, she won't. She thinks discretion is the better part of ours. The two Mercedes uh, get close to each other. That's uh, not... Uh, well, that's actually very good because the two Mercedes start to uh, fight each other. She's going to be able to disappear off into the distance and she's going to be able to make uh, light of a good thing. I think we've got uh, the two Alpines uh, scrapping at the back there. Let's see if they do come round the uh, corner. We don't know. We don't know, unfortunately. See down uh, the hill through turn six. No, it doesn't look like... Uh, it looks like everything is uh, sorted itself out. Oh, a little squiggly on the back end coming through turn uh, seven. And now down to uh, turn eight, nine and ten here at uh, the Red Bull League. I thought we had uh, cars side by side. We've got Fernando Alonso and uh, Lewis Hamilton uh, side by side. George Russell's all over the back of Jackie going down to the first corner. DRS not quite activated just yet. George Russell into P4 ahead of Jackie. Uh, Sergio Perez has now snuck through on uh, Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso. Where did he come from? Literally came right out of nowhere. Look at it. We've got Norris and Gasly side by side. Norris and Ocon, sorry, I should say side by side. Or is it Gasly? It's one of the two. We got uh, the other Alpine, uh, Ocon. No, it is uh, Gasly. You've got Ocon and uh, Albon side by side. This is great racing. And we're only in the first la lap and a half of this Grand Prix. What more could you ask for? from uh, the Austrian Grand Prix at the moment. But uh, other action that happened uh, on lap two, it looks like Tatiana, Tatiana got a mega start. That's incredible. She's going backwards now and paying for it because uh, Nick DeVries, who also got a mega start, is uh, up into P16. Tatiana going to look for her way through. I consider the outside of the corner as we've got uh, Bottas side by side with Nico Hulkenberg. But uh, it's going to be Sano DeVries, sorry, around the outside of Tatiana. And the Colombian conquistador is down to P17 already. And it may be uh, a case of quickly going backwards uh, for her as uh, we look on board. And it is going to be a case of quickly going backwards. Although, to be fair, Hollywood Land Stroll is a very quick car that uh, is out of place. As he dives it up the inside and he puts the move on Tatiana that Tatiana put on uh, a few people yesterday. But Tatiana's going to come back. She's got the preferred line into turn three. Side by side with uh, Hollywood Land Stroll. Hello, look out. It's Yuki Sonoda. Doing the old kamikaze dive bomb up the inside of turn three. Hollywood Land Stroll's going to get away and Tatiana's going to stay with him. Stay with him, the Colombian conquistadores. That's uh, what we uh, love to see as uh, Lewis Hamilton has dropped back from Sergio Perez. No DRS for the uh, seven-time champion as he comes. King Alonso! And uh, around the outside will go Fernando and up into P7 for the former two-time world champion with uh, Alpine but uh, Tatiana's woes are going to continue as she's uh, being passed by Yuki well she, she was going to be passed by Yuki Sonoda but uh, great defence for the Colombian conquistador S as uh, now Sonoda's going to look at the inside of turn three that's not going to work because Tatiana's got the preferred line going into turn three I've got this if you can hear the fan I've got it blurring on the fastest uh, setting and it is blowing it is giving me hot air that's all it's giving me. All it's uh, going to give me as well. On to lap number four and uh, Hollywood Land Stroll is, uh, wow. He just made quick work of De Vries like De Vries was standing still. Speaking of uh, cold, that move was uh, very cold right there. But De Vries has DRS. He's going to come back on uh, Hollywood Land Stroll. He's going to think about the inside line into uh, turn three. Unfortunately for Nick, that's not going to work because we know the outside is OP at turn three. Even for the player, the outside is OP. I have no uh, reason why. And uh, speaking of OP, it looks like uh, unless uh, something happens, Tatiana's going to get absolutely destroyed. But good defense again from the Colombian Conquistador S as uh, she's up to... Uh, P, uh, what's he up to now? She's up to P18 still. Sonoda coming back after being attacked by uh, Kevin Magson, the Great Dane. But still side by side. It might be over now because uh, there's no DRS for Tatiana. She's side by side with Yuki Sonoda going down to turn four. Although she is, she is maintaining position. And I love seeing this uh, kind of defense out of her. She is really defending like uh, a conquistador S. 
And, well, well, Sonoda, yeah, good girl. She's really putting the, the screws to uh, Yuki Sonoda. But meanwhile, over on Verstappen, I think he's about to uh, make a move for the race lead here in uh, the Red Bull ring. And, well, that was, uh, that was quite easy. Let, let's be honest, that was quite easy. Let's look at Jackie. She's, uh, she is sticking with George Russell. I didn't think that uh, she... I thought she would have gone straight back into the clutches of uh, Sergio Perez. But uh, apparently not. She is uh, stuck with George Russell. What is that? Oh, you're, you've got to be joking. After five laps? You've got to be joking. That is the fourth engine failure we have had this season what on earth Ugh. why do these failures keep happening why no one else is getting engine failures like we're getting engine failures what what on earth is going on stuff from Red Bull today. What a superb victory. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently and it's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be so proud of the victory they've secured here. Let's have a quick look at how the driver's standings have changed. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. Well, after an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Often my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off an especially impressive feat during the race. However, in this instance, I was more impressed by Max Verstappen's solid, clean driving throughout the event. Let's move on to the constructors. And pulling further ahead in the standings, it's Red Bull. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time out. Be sure to join us once again as we continue to bring you all the excitement of Formula One. Yes, yeah, so, uh, I don't know. I just want to get out of here now. We had such a good sprint race and then along comes this mess. Oh, the Stappen one. You boring little man. Tatiana Fish, P20. And, uh, yeah... I need a word with Toto. What? Toto, what are you doing here, man? This this, this is not a coincidence, I think. Ugh, we had a result, man. We had a result. We had a result. Fuck, 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 I'm not happy. I'm not, I'm not happy. N... Engine failure as we're chasing down a Mercedes, and we have a Mercedes in the back of our car. Ugh. What? What? What do you say? There's nothing more you can say. Those are pre-planned as well. There's no getting around them. Fine, fine. Be uh, it's certainly going to be very interesting to see uh, who are. Uh, who is to blame for that one? Uh, it's the British Grand Prix. Oh boy, it's the British Grand Prix. Hi, speaking of tracks where AI are OP. Silverstone enters the conversation. Ooh, 480 resource points. Thanks. 
not. What was it that failed? The MGUK. <laughs> hey, that's okay. We'll whack a new one on. We've got three. Uh, we'll, we'll just do that. We'll just do that. Get a new MGUK on there. It'll be, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Right, Akita. Do we keep this Akita oil thing for a top 10 finish? I think we could keep it, you know, and work with it. Let's have a look, see if there's a, see if there's a new one. Uh, see if there's a new one that we could put on there or we keep it Akita. Don't cry for me, Akita Royal. Yeah, I think we're keeping Akita. Because nothing else seems... Yeah, we'll keep Akita. Nothing else seems to be uh, popping off, so uh, we'll keep Akita for uh, for a few more races. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Playlists have appeared on your screen. Go check out some more Rockstar Pool 69 content. But in the meantime, stay safe. Be kind to each other. If you can't be kind, be quiet. No place will be kind, kind. Can't be kind to other people. Easy of me to say. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the British Grand Prix. Get ready for another f fest incoming.